Hey everybody and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of Unprocessed, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss and now Own Your Health. And this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent and sustainable weight loss. Last week I showed you how to make the easiest, healthiest, most delicious waffles. So now I am going to blow your mind and show you how to make waffle ice cream sandwiches. When I was little, my mom would make these for me and they were so delicious. For some reason, when I grew up in Chicago, the ice cream came almost in a rectangle shape in a carton and it was really easy for her to make because she would just slice off the flavor and put it between two waffles. So what do you need for waffle ice cream sandwiches? Well, waffles and ice cream and we are going to make them both ourselves. As I mentioned, I showed you how to make the waffles last week and I'll link to that video, but I always keep the waffles in the freezer because then not only can I make waffle ice cream sandwiches, but I can make waffles. I just pop them in the toaster and then my husband can have waffles. And it's so fun to have waffles and then fill each little hole with a blueberry when you serve it or however you want or even a little bit of California balsamic vinegar over the top. But here we're gonna use it to make ice cream sandwiches. So, you know what I, my husband said, you forgot a dish and yes I did, but that's okay because we're gonna just go right on the waffle. We're gonna do our best to get this to work. Always a good idea to have frozen bananas. If you like banana ice cream in your freezer, I've done this with peach ice cream as well. But whatever flavor fruit, always have it peeled if it's a banana and frozen. And make sure if it's a banana, you get them very, very ripe because otherwise they won't be sweet. Whatever machine you use to make ice cream is fine. I love the Champion Juicer. Yes, it is more expensive, but it makes the, the creamiest of all the machines that I've tried, and believe me, I have tried them all. So it's very easy to make. You just turn it on. The first banana usually gets lost in the blade. So I'm just put it right, oh, look at that. Now, the truth is, is you don't have to make this into an ice cream sandwich. You could just eat it a la mode, and that would be amazing with some of the berries on top. But what I like to do, actually, is freeze it, and I'll show you how cool it's going to look. So it usually takes, well, depending on how much ice cream you like, I use two bananas per sandwich. ice cream the thicker the sandwich and then we take our other one oh my gosh and we make it into a sandwich let me just get a little knife now what I like to do because I like things square is I sometimes roll the edges in low-fat unsweetened coconut I know a lot of people can't or don't want to do coconut because of the saturated fat, so I have another idea for you. But first, I'm going to even this out. You can see how thick this is because of the Champion. When you use, uh, even though I love the Vitamix, it's a wonderful machine, you know, you often, you, not often, almost always have to add some liquid to it in order for it to blend. So that's why I love the Champion. It tastes the most like real ice cream in the texture. So what you can do with these edges is fruit. So I love blueberries and what you can do is just work them all the way around. This is probably work with any fruit but blueberries are easy and they're small and I'll tell you I've served this to company they have gone nuts for these and I think the kids will like them as well and of course you don't have to use my waffle recipe any waffle would do even a frozen one but what I like about my waffle recipe is it's literally made out of three ingredients that you probably already have in your cupboard or pantry so these are amazing and delicious and who doesn't love waffles and who doesn't like ice cream and together they're just amazing so you can take your time I know my friend Shada would make it absolutely perfect every blueberry but I'm more about the taste than the look I think it's because for many years I was a volunteer culinary instructor at the Braille Institute and the, the plating didn't matter because it was all about the taste. So look at that. Unbelievable. 
how will you decide which one to eat first? I hope you'll make this recipe and let me know if you like it. And thanks so much for watching another episode of Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ and I make healthy taste delicious so that you can have both the health and the body that you so richly deserve. Take care.